Ooh, well, okay. I mean, that's fine. That's nothing like a little clue. <laughs> Can't fix. Super 7, Wave 8. The end of Wave 8. What a wave it's been. This is Shredder. Yeah, you know. You know all this stuff. The bag. The slip cover on this one. Super glossy. I mean, I guess is if this is going to be the end of their slip covers, go out with a glossy one. Looks stellar. In the display window. Killer display window. I'll, I'll never stop saying it. Super 7, for me, probably has the best display. The bad guy leader. All you need is like a hang tab up top. And... Credits, as I've discussed before. Here he is in just the plastic, you see. Second accessory tray is just his his little cape. Yeah. Great figure. Extra sword on this guy. Let's let's get him on out of there. Uh, there was a single, you know, the old like belly wrap tie. We have our boy here. So he does come with his cloth goods cape. So you can just undo his little, you know, nice shredder belt. They didn't have to go that hard and just like on a belt like that, but I like it. So the cape, everyone likes a good cloth goods cape. People go nuts for cloth goods, I, I tell you what. So it is a wired cape. It has a really nice wire on it i mean i don't know do other people get into like the wire feel some wires you feel like as soon as you touch it or bend it like you've you've ruined it but this one i feel like you can manipulate it without any issue so you get like a good wind blown effect of course this shredder is super ripped he's the most ripped shredder ever i mean he's got the side muscle things that you know and he has the uncomfortable back muscle, like maybe too ripped, maybe dial it back. You know, you're going too hard in the gym, buddy. So this one, it's the same as the original Shredder, which we'll look at later that they did. But this one has the silver armor. So you got the silver helmet. And then you have the silver pauldrons, the silver gauntlets, I guess that's kind of a gauntlet. And then the silver shin guards. They're all very nice, like... They're, they're very nicely soft plastic, so I'm not going to, like, stab myself on them. And they don't feel like they're going to break, so it's really good. So he has his little belt, his legs. Not as ripped on the legs. He's, you know, either his leg, his pants just aren't tight enough, but, you know. So his shoulder, let me pop off the head so we can see the shoulder more accurately. Um, I guess we could, let's put it, let's pop it. Oh, I, I took a piece of the... A string of the cape off so a little little neck joint there so you can't you can do you know the cloth looks so it looks like he just has his hood so you can see here the shoulder it would have really great movement even higher but it just it stops at the pauldron right so you're going about there and then is he doing the full townsend yes you know he is pete townsend bam with a bam i have way too much fun with that and then he has the the bicep cut of course very smooth on this one and then he has single jointed elbows. Good, good stiffness on that. Like I like that. It moves just fine, but it holds however you put it. And then the wrists, good wrist action. The legs, he's as limber as you would expect and hope Shredder to be. Uh, so they kick. He he actually kicks back far. He has like he has a nice little booty on him, but he kicks back really good. Kicks forward really good. No ab crunch, folks. Sorry if you wanted ab crunch. He's got the abs, but no ab crunch. And then he has, you know, single jointed legs. I guess there is like the the swivel, if you like the, the thigh kind of swivelly stuff. You want some light? You want some extra light on him? You can turn the light on. Um, the knee also, he turns there just like a real leg does. No, like, well, ooh, and he has... He has a boot cut, too. I don't know if I've ever noticed that in the older figure, but there's a boot cut. And then he has the feet. Also good detail on, like, the feet wrapping. So they're going up, down, side to side. And mine are, you know, very good. So, yeah, there is our basic shredder. So we've seen the cloth goods cape. Let me show you first 
the, the non-cloth good cape. Like so, it has a nice, a good rubbery feel. It's not too hard, it's not too flimsy. So if you like that, if you don't want to deal, ooh, well, okay. I mean, that's fine. That's nothing like a little glue. <laughs> Can't fix, and it goes on just fine. So I wasn't meant to pop that off, but you know, okay. <laughs> so there goes that. It reminds me, honestly, that's very, that's a very Playmates-esque thing. Um, I've had some of my Playmates figures, like the Lucas, the Stranger Things hair popped off. Just like, just like that. So they, maybe they went too hard on recreating the Playmates. So there he is in his nice rubbery cape. Let's, let's stand him there. Come on, buddy. So he comes with this little knife. I always thought this was like a, a piece of pizza when I was a kid. So I don't know what to call it. I'm sure there's a name. But nice purple detailing there. I believe this is just called a push knife. Um, the back of this one, I don't know, it's like kind of like melted or unfinished. Like it just got like a glob of paint. So it's like, there's, it's stick. That's not, that's not ideal. Um, this, I believe, is the Kyoketsu Shoge. Oh, I'm pretty, pretty sure. I don't know, like tape stuck on it or something. Kyoketsu Shoge. So he does have two throwing stars. I never know what to do with throwing stars, honestly. If you ask me, I could just do without throwing stars altogether. I like this head sculpt. It's like the blacked out eyes, kind of like a Batman blacked out eyes. I think it's really cool, really menacing. And the gray really gives like a skeletal effect to his mask thing. Um, he's got, he's got two, don't need the hair. He's got two clap hands, you know, reach out hands with cha hands. He's got two fists, like so, and the nice, like, the band. And then he, he has on his two, like, holder hands. And then he has two, two swords. So this is an improvement over the one sword that the original figure had. So, again, that's very cool. So you get a, a sword in hand there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to glue this again, though. Like that's a very clean thing, so it's just like you know, I get, I just, I guess I just worked it too much. Oops. Yeah, that's that's not bad. I can I can glue that easy. So so he's got the two swords in. You know, he's doing a little uh, Wachow Wachowski um. Doing a little of that, and he's doing a little of this, you know. So he's like, like Sanji, not Sanji. What am I talking? Zoro. Though in the manga, in my manga, the translation they call him Zolo. So kind of, I feel like Zolo is slowly implanted in my brain. But he's almost ready to do three sword style, but not quite, you know. Um, so pretty cool with the swords. Here he is, Shogun. The, Kyoketsu Shoge. I don't know how to. I don't know how to use it. Um, you know, that's the thing. I know you know how to do a sword, but how do you? So the hook thing is he hooking onto stuff? So yeah, I mean, I'm, honestly, I don't know if I get like a lot of use out of the 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 weapons. Um, like push knifing people. I think I actually at some point. I like fucked up the, the plastic on his finger. Look at that. Um, hmm. Yeah, probably as I was like jamming stuff down in there, I like ruined it. I mean, it's not it's not so bad, but it's un that's unfortunate. And here he is just like push knife and fools. So I don't know, you run into this guy on the street, you know, he's trying to sell you some knives. He's push, he's push knife in you like, hey, door to door salesman. We got this knife. We got this knife, you slice dice, you know, um, you know, there, he's doing like, that's more of like the, kind of the classic shredder crouch. But how does he compare to the rest of the wave? But first, old shredder. Not only is the helmet a different color, I like, I like the eyebrow helmet, I think that's funny. Um, but the purple, there's like a richer purple 
really. Um, so anywhere there's a purple, it's like a darker, deeper purple. I think this, I think Silver Shredder looks way better. Um, obviously that helmet, not necessarily doing him a lot of favors, but just all overall, the paint on this, I think is great. I think it's fantastic. I don't mind the shirtlessness. People were complaining that they don't like the, like the pauldrons on the shoulder. It's, it's the classic version. That's what they're going for. So I don't mind. I think he looks badass. So here's how he sizes up to a turtle. Good scale. I love the Super 7 scale. Shredder's taller. The shoulder, the turtles, they should come to about shoulder height for me, max with any humans. So again, they line up great. I think it looks fantastic. Great scale. We work in some of the Genghis Frog insanity. Shows you just how big Genghis Frog is. Um, about going toe to toe with Shredder. If Genghis didn't have like a hunch, if he could straighten out his back, he'd probably be taller. Raph raises his arm so him and Shredder can be really tall there together off to the side. Look at <laughs> oh no, Gang oh. For a moment we flew. Raph is the only one standing. For a moment we just we flew too close to the sun on wings of Genghis. You can put them all together on my absurdly tiny stand. Wave eight, stellar wave. I love it. Shredder, not the strongest figure, but you know. That's Wave 8 of Super 7's TMNT Ultimates, folks. A fun group. Here's the original Shredder on the out. This will be my go-to Shredder. He defeated Splinter, and he's looking great. The cape, super nice. It's a great cloth goods cape. One of the best. The blackout eyes head sculpt is really awesome.